Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we will be talking about web sockets. To understand web sockets better, you need to understand what a protocol is. So if you already know what a protocol is, you can skip to this time so that you will see the lab. Okay. But if you don't know, you can continue watching this video. When you hear a word protocol, you understand that for some work to be done or some deal to be made, you and the other party member agree on set of rules that you both understand so that there will not be any communication gap. When you establish these rules, everything goes smoothly between you and the other person. For example, there is person 1 who is talking to person 2. So let's say person 1 says, I am Tor hat. When I say these words, you instantly understand it because we both speak the same language. We both understand what I'm saying, which means we both agree that we use English protocol for communication. Similarly, machines, browsers, this Google Chrome browser or servers, they also have a lot of protocols for communication or data transfer. Okay, so you already know a lot of protocols. You must have heard about TCP protocol, UDP protocol, and IP, HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, file protocol, and WebSocket protocol. Okay, so you must have heard all of these things. So you might not have heard about these three, but I'm sure that you have already familiarized with these protocols. Okay, so transmission control protocol okay so you need a connection to be established before the data transfer okay but this one doesn't need to have a, a connection established before the data transfer okay so this is ip protocol to detect and transfer the data to that particular ip okay so internet protocol and http is hypertext and transfer protocol you daily use this http right if you see here you will see https because https is secured so hypertext transfer protocol they say hypertext because they don't just want to transfer text okay so they can transfer any type of data through this http ftp you know that we can transfer files this file protocol refers to the same server or same PC that you're working on. Okay. For example, if I'm working on this Kali PC, okay, so I can find any file using this file protocol. Okay. So we'll see how it works. And uh, this is WebSocket protocol and this is secured WebSocket protocol. Okay. So let's say I have a file here a file called Kira and the contents of the file is this one. Okay. Thanks. Namaste. If I go to browser and if I use file and colon slash slash, then what I'm saying is I want to use a file protocol because if you see any other protocol here, so it has the protocol name and a colon slash slash. So which means we are starting with a protocol. So similarly, we are starting with a file protocol. Okay. I want to open this Kira file. Okay. So if I just type pwd, so I can see that this Kira file is located in this directory. Okay. So I can just copy this and paste it. But now it looks like it has three uh, forward slashes right but actually it has only two forward slashes and this is the directory structure okay and from here you have this kira file okay and if I, you just hit enter you will see that you will get this content of this file okay thanks namaste so similarly if you want to use a web socket you must use web socket colon slash slash for web socket protocol Okay, so if you're using WebSocket secure protocol, then you have to use this. Okay, and then uh, the destination and the particular file name. Okay, so this is how you transfer data using WebSocket protocol. So how to achieve this WebSocket protocol? Let's see. So here we have a question. So is HTTP required to initiate WebSocket? This ChatGPT says yes. Typically, WebSocket connections are initiated using HTTP protocol, which means HTTP protocol will send a request and that will initiate this WebSocket protocol. 
okay so we'll see how that is okay so first initially client will send the http request server will respond with the 101 switching protocols okay we will see all this during the demo okay once the server says that you need to switch protocols for communication then the connection is upgraded okay and then the websocket communication will will start so if you want to know the differences they are self-explanatory okay so this is application layer protocol which means you are doing within an application which means you are using a browser or any other application to use http protocol okay so this is full duplex communication protocol okay so which means you can send and receive at the same time so one data will be going from us and we don't have to wait until we receive a response from it okay we can receive a different kind of response and that should still work okay so full duplex which means you can send and receive data simultaneously okay so this is stateless and this is a persistent which means stateless means each request is independent when they say each request is independent which means uh, for each request to initiate you will initially send sin synac and ack okay for every request you need to have that handshake but this one is a persistent connection it is already there so you don't you just have to initiate it once okay and then it is done for each request you need to do all this sin synac and ack all these handshakes okay similarly there are a lot of other things and as you can see here it is high latency because each request is a new connection but this is low latency which means it is much faster latency means late you can think of late which means high late okay so low late which means it is faster so here we have many headers and here we don't need any headers okay similarly we have all these things so you can go through this you just have to ask these questions http versus websocket write a table okay and then chat gpt will write the whole thing in the table format okay so let's go back so now that you have understood what is a protocol what's the difference between http and uh, websocket now you are ready to do a lab okay let's start with the lab here it says manipulating websocket messages to exploit vulnerabilities hmm interesting so this is an online shop that has a live chat feature implemented using websockets chat messages that you submit are viewed by the support agent in real time so this is a lie there is no support agent this, there is some program that is just replying you okay so to solve this lab use a websocket message to trigger an alert pop-up so let's access the lab okay what do we have here so if you see any live chat feature or anything like that you must be sure that it is using a websocket protocol okay so just click on that and here you see that there is a system said there is no chart record and here it says connected now charting with helpline okay so here if you see websockets so now something is initiated and websocket has been established okay so if you want to see this flow of transferring from http to websocket so you can see it right here so here you just click on this live chat feature okay so this button you clicked on okay so then it initiated this request okay so this request is saying that you need to switch protocols and you need to upgrade to websocket okay and only then this live chat feature will work now what happened is once this is upgraded to websocket there is a websocket history here okay so what we are saying is i am ready and we are sending that to the server and server will reply to us with okay connected now chatting with helpline once you see this uh, chat message so this is like an input field so you can type anything you want okay so you can try with small things like uh, less than or greater than symbols so let's send it and you can see that it is directly printed okay so if you go to this websocket protocol history just click on this request one by one to understand what's happening okay so this is the particular request which says less than and greater than which is encoded 
the encoding happened in the browser itself okay once we click on send there is some html encoding that happened so that encoding will result in this less than and greater than symbol so what if we intercept that request and we change it to less than and greater than so what is going to happen at that point of time okay we'll see that so once we send this the server again replied with the same thing okay and then server said and then it is typing and then it sent this message to us okay all of this happened in this web socket protocol okay there is nothing like http header or anything like that there is no need for that protocol so this is a persistent protocol that doesn't need any kind of headers okay what we need to do is we will just go to proxy and here you see that WebSocket interception rules. So you need to intercept client to server and server to client messages. Okay. So once you've done that, let's close this and intercept with this. Okay. So you can type anything, send it and this will reflect in this burp suit. So now what you can do is you can now type script tag with alert message because this is what we need to do and uh, let's say script tag okay since we have already crossed the browser essentially we have bypassed this client side encoding okay so let's forward this okay the looks like the connection is gone so let's reload this so now we are back turn on the intercept and type something send it this will intercept now type that script tag again alert one and script tag closed so let's copy this and forward this okay so now the server replied with this one okay so this has this uh, thing included right so we don't want this to be included so we cannot do much here so you can just forward this or you can change it and forward so that will be like cheating so you cannot do that so let's try removing this and then let's send it and then it is typing and then it is saying this here you have nothing here okay which means the client is also removing that uh, script tags right so even if you just reload this nothing is going to pop up you intercept it again so this time let's use a different script which is an image tag okay so let's use image tag and we type source equals to nothing and uh, error message let's say on error we type alert okay you don't need to close this tag because image is a self-closing tag so you cannot say that image is starting here and ending here so image is an image okay so you just forward this and the server replied with this and then you forward this and intercept off okay and as you can see the image did not load but here we got a pop-up so this says that there is a cross-site scripting vulnerability using this web sockets okay so if you just close this and you can see that the lab is solved i hope you understand what a protocol is how these protocols work and how this web socket is different from http protocol and how these change during the transit and here we have switching protocols how WebSocket protocol is dependent on HTTP protocol and how to check the WebSockets and how we can use client side or server side vulnerabilities just by using WebSockets. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.